Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am whispering because everybody else is sleeping. Chris is at the gym. Um, I woke up and I got ready to go to work. Today is officially my second day. It's our third day open, but it's my second day working. We're using all four rooms in the studio, which is really nice. It's really great. We have a lot of full price clients coming in. Um, I hope that the momentum stays like this. Yesterday, I did. I had three clients. Um, I just wanted to start off really slowly. I usually never do no more than four. Um, but yeah, yesterday I had three plus there was a 90 minute. I started off with a 90 minute and then I had two one hours after that. And today I'm just feeling so sore. I feel like like I worked out at the gym yesterday for hours. My arms are sore. My shoulders are sore. My back is sore. Even my pecs are sore. Like I just feel like I worked out which i been doing massage for so long that i didn't think it was that much of a workout but after not doing it for three and a half almost four months um i definitely feel that i did something you know so i'm boiling some eggs i'm drinking my coffee i'm waiting for the baby to wake up i kind of hear him trying to get up a little bit so i'm gonna do that but yeah i just wanted to let you know how my first day went it went well it's kind of like riding a bike like i was like am i gonna know how to massage but once you get in there it's, you just know what to do automatically um so i'll see you guys maybe later maybe in a little bit because i have four clients today and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to record um but if i don't see you guys then have a good day Beautiful the yard is. It's so green. All right, so I just did a million things and I forgot to take the camera with me. I'm failing as a blogger. I'm so sorry, you guys. But anyways, Chris and I went to the laundry mat today um, to get a couple loads done. Then we ended up going to, uh, to the thrift store that's right there. I'm just going to show you guys really quick what I got at the thrift store. The first thing I got was this cute salad bowl. I just love it because it's like, I don't know, it's just so nice. And I paid $1.99 for this. I also got this all white um, serving tray. So it has a divider right there. And I paid $7.99 for this. I also got all of these white um, square plates. I'm going for the white vibe down here in this kitchen because I'm just trying to get um, I'm trying to get the kitchen down here furnished. Anyways, it was a set of one, two, three, four, five for $5.99. And I got ooh, this set right here, which has 
one, two, three, four, five, six more. Oh. So it has six more um, of the big plates and they're rounds and it has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has a nine of the like um, cake plates, like the smaller ones. And then bowls, like these are like the wide bowls that I really like because I like to feed the baby his food in these type of bowls right here. There's four. There's four of those. And I got this whole pack for $9.99. And then I also got this set right here. It's like a mixing bowls. I love mixing bowls. So much and I thought that this one was so cute uh, you can't really tell the color but it's like um reminds me of the 70s so this was a set of two I got the smaller one right here the smaller one was $3.99 and this big one was $7.99 so I am gonna go cook now I'm gonna go cook I'm gonna make some shepherd's pie for the kids and yeah I'm hungry all I had was Popeyes today which is not that good but I just had a chicken sandwich and some Cajun 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 uh, rice which was really good their Cajun rice is like my dirty rice that I make so this is my version of a shepherd's pie First, I put the, I browned to the ground beef. I put some sauce in it. I put some corn and I seasoned it. I layered it like this, and then I put cheese on top of it. And now I'm spreading the garlic, garlic mashed potatoes, which I like to make my own. So I just spread it on there like that. So I just spread it on there like that. I made about six potatoes. And what I like to do is I like to make them really garlicky. So I put garlic salt and garlic powder in them and lots and lots of butter. So I'm just putting cheese all over it. I usually use sharp cheddar but Chris didn't pick up any sharp cheddar. He picked up the taco style and the Kobe Jack so that's what I'm using. Yep, so after you spread the cheese on it, it's going to look a little bit like this. So remember that it's meat, cheese, potatoes, then cheese again. Now we're just going to pop this into the oven at 350 until the cheese melts. Everything is already cooked. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys a really quick haul before I start decorating my house and putting everything you know and it's new home i did go shopping i went to a tj maxx i went to ollie's i went to a couple thrift stores so i'm just going to show you really quick what i got at tj maxx so i got these um wall decor i actually got picked up two of them just so i can put them in my hallway i picked that up from TJ Maxx. I also picked up this little baby right here. You guys probably can't see really. So it's a cast iron pot. And it is from the brand La Cera. It's a 2.5 quart cast iron. Um, and I just thought it would look so cute. Ooh. I thought it would look so cute right here on my stove downstairs and this was actually on sale for $25. So I thought this pot was so cute. I could make my um, habichuelas in here. So that's what that's for. I actually needed a new, um, what is this called? A colander. This is called the colander. But I needed a new one, you know, so I could wash my rice and my veggies. And so I got this for $5.99. And then I was so excited about this baby right here. This is a cast iron 
skillet and it was $12.99. So I got four of these bowls right here and they're just like a blue and white ombre. I thought it, it would look nice because I thought that it would look nice with my white plates that I already have. My theme in this kitchen is going to be white and blue rustic feel. And you guys will see a little bit of that soon. So I actually purchased four. These were $3 a piece. another one and one more I don't even remember what else I bought either. oh All right. so for the downstairs for the downstairs bathroom I actually bought this cute soap dis dispenser so it's by the brand Garo and this was $9.99. And I also bought the toothbrush holder because the one we have in there is already getting old. So they look like this and I paid $6.99 for this one. Let me show you guys up close. Just look like this. Kind of like a woven material on the top. It's not real though. It's just, you know, fake. But it's so cute. So that's that. And that's that. And this is what the bowls look like. Really cute. I don't remember what it was. I got this. I got this earlier today. Oh. So I got some shot glasses. This is a set of six. And they're just the really tiny shot glasses. Let me see if I can take one out for you guys. Yeah, so they just they just look like this. So cute. It's like a tiny little cup. So I got these shot glasses because we are going to be entertaining more um, people at our house. So I would like, I was like, we need to get some shot glasses. At TJ Maxx, I also got this rug right here. So this rug was $19.99 and I will show you guys how the rug looks like on the floor. So this is what the rug is looking like on the floor. It's not going to go here. It's actually going to go on another one of my hallways. But I just wanted to show you guys how long it was. That's my kitchen. So it's pretty long. Also from TJ Maxx, I grabbed this, just this um, corner shelf three tier. Um, it's for your plates basically so you can stack your plates as you guys saw earlier from my earlier post I did buy a lot of plates from the thrift store so I just got some a rack I love these things I should have bought more and this was $4.99 so from TJ Maxx I bought this fridge organizer a baskets so there's two of them here and I paid $7.99 for these. I actually really like these because I can just separate things and make the fridge look a little bit better when everything is a little bit more organized. Alright. So I also bought these um, these dish towels. I like my dish towels to be really big, really thick, and really soft because I basically just use them basically just to dry my dishes and to dry my hands. I don't use them for cleaning or anything like that. So I like them to be big, thick. So if you guys can see, these are like the real big jumbo ones. They're 16 by 26 inches. And I love the ones that are made in Turkey. I get them always at Marshalls. This was $7.99 and you get four. I also got this cute sandals. Like I said, this is not part of my home decor, but I thought they were too cute. Um, I got these cute little sandals. I got them um, a size bigger because I don't know if you guys saw my last haul vlog where I actually went to TJ Maxx and I got those cute flats. 
they broke the same day that I wore them they broke so these are sturdier I know that I my foot is white so I just went up on, on a size and I just thought they were cute and perfect for summer so yeah I paid $24.99 for these I also got some Adidas sneakers they were their size six so that's like my size six six and a half and they were $39.99 and I was gonna order me a pair of Adidas online anyways they were about the same price I just figured I could get them get them sooner um, they have memory foam on the inside yeah it says memory foam embedded or something like that and they they're like really this is what I look for when I look for sneakers but anyways, I got this set of two um, like bamboo type of spoons. This is the spoons that I like to cook with. They don't scratch up my, my pans or anything like that. They are by the brands Cuisine Art, Green Gourmet, Beechwood, Solid, Solid Spoons. So they're not bamboo. They're just Beechwood, which is fine with me. They're $5.99. Um... The next thing that I'm going to show you is what I got from um, the thrift store Goodwill. So I got these smaller wine glasses. As you can see, they're textured, they're pretty, and these were these were marked for a dollar, but it was yellow ticket, 50% uh, off yellow tags on today the day that i went and I actually paid 50 cents for four of these wine glasses so this is what they're looking like so as you can see they're textured and they're really pretty that I did was Ollie's. I think that a lot of people don't go there and I don't know why when you can actually find really good stuff. So the first thing that I bought was a Batman blanket for my son. He loves Batman, he's really into Batman right now and he is just like me, he always has to have a blanket covering him, especially when we have the ACs on all night long. So I got him a Batman blanket and this blanket was a $9.99 from Ollie's. I got this basket right here, which I'm going to use to put snacks in and just stick it in one of my my drawers down here. I have all of this stuff in my kitchen upstairs. I'm just starting to use my kitchen down here, so I'm gonna just start buying stuff for the kitchen so I can start using it. I also bought, oh, and this basket was $3.49. And I got this sink strainer for $1.79 again in the blue color that I'm going for um, and I also got the little um, little sponge caddy just to put your sponge in and I got this for $1.49 and from the brand Food Network I got my spoons and fork set as the flatware set I actually was gonna go get this on Amazon, but it was back ordered, and I found the same ones I wanted for $19.99, and it brings 20 pieces, which is not bad. So I bought two decor, I bought two decor items for my kitchen. The first one that I bought is this wooden. Let's see if it focuses. So the first one I bought is this wooden one. It says rise and shine. So I bought it so I could place it somewhere on. We have really high ceilings. So I figured I would put it on one of my ceilings in my kitchen. I also bought this one. It goes, it's my theme of my kitchen. So I actually want this one to go either above the window or on top of the door like I said my ceilings are really high so I have to put something there to make it not look so crazy this is what it looks like up close so as you can see it's wood it's just like a wood slab 
it's so pretty i also picked up this cushions and you will see why it's just two regular like a blue green color um cushions there's a set of two they're called chair pads and i paid 9.99 for them and you guys will see why in a second i bought the covers because i got a little patio set so this is called like a bistro set so it has the tables and the two chairs right here and i got those at ollie's and they were 39.99 or 38.99 each and the little chair was like 29.99 that is everything that i bought um i'm sorry that this vlog has been all over the place i feel like my life has really been all over the place lately i started work and i'm still trying to manage getting my routine situated after being out for almost four months i feel like i don't have a set routine and i know as soon as i set my routine and i wake up and i go to the gym and i come take a shower and i go to work or you know like plan out my days and then plan out my weeks um i know that my content is gonna be flowing for you guys again i'm so sorry i have not been so consistent as consistent as i would like to be with posting stuff but you guys will all know why really really soon um i'm really excited about all the new things that are coming into my life i've been practicing on manifesting i've been really trying to get into my spiritual side i'm trying to take care of myself not only my outer self but i've been trying to take care of my inner self as well i'm trying to make my home better i'm just trying to make my surroundings better um so there's a lot that i've been dealing with over here but you guys will get a whole bunch of new videos out really soon as soon as everything comes out and i'm allowed to say the things that are going on in my life and everything that's going on you guys will know really really soon and again i don't like to talk too much about it because i don't want to tease you guys with anything but i just felt like i owed you guys an explanation as to why i haven't been posting so much lately so it's getting really hot i'm gonna end this video right here so i can start editing it come here baby so i can start editing it for you guys for tomorrow this is riri say hi riri hi so i'm gonna go and feed these kids because i know they're already asking for food so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video again thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video